is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I love the rarefied air of heaven. Did you ever see the movie Chariots of Fire? Any of you see that? It's a true story about a Christian runner. And he had a line that was so wonderful. He said, I feel the pleasure of God when I run. Do you remember that line? Well, my guest could have a line like that, except it would be a little different. He would say, I feel the pleasure of God when I worship God. I told you that certain psalmists tap into certain frequencies of heaven. We've had people like Julie True who taps into the frequency of supernatural peace. My guest, Roy Fields, taps into a God hunger frequency. You, if you think you're hungry for God now, wait till you hear this supernatural frequency that will move you into a, because it's from the hunger of God that everything opens up in the supernatural realm. Do you want that? Yes. You want that? You know, my guest has led revival throughout the world. Uh, he's, he's been with uh, Reinhard Bunke, with, with uh, Rodney Howard Brown. But I want to take you back, Roy Fields, age 11. For the first time in your life, you experienced the presence of God. What was that like? I'll never forget it. It was a bunch of people that were hungry for God that had gone to church from different churches. We were at a house and they had a traditional, you know, I guess it's traditional Bible study. Everybody was together and there's about 40 of us packed in this living room. And these five acoustic guitar players were across the front and they were all singing this song, I Lift My Hands. And I'll never forget, said, I, could, I remember them singing, I lift my hands to the coming King. To the great I am, to you I see, for you're the one who reigns within my heart. And I was melted. I, I had never felt anything warm feeling as I, I did that day. And I remember in the, middle, in the middle of that, I said, Lord, if this is what it's like to feel your presence, if this is what it's like when people lead worship, I want to do this the rest of my life. I'm addicted. Now, <laughs> in the midst of these revivals, yeah. you have songs downloaded to you. Mm. Tell me about the song, On To You. Uh, I was in Muskegon, Michigan in 2010, just recently. We were in a 54-day revival, and uh, the worship would last sometimes two hours. Uh, nobody wants to leave the room, and I love that. And in the middle of that, I heard this melody. Now. I'm not really a writer. I really try to hear. I try to hear what's being sung in heaven. I've never been to heaven yet, but I try to hear that sound that I felt when I first was touched. And unto you, I heard that melody. Uh, melody. It was da 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 da. I just could hear it over and over. Well, two hours later, we're all singing this thing that there weren't even any words. It was just worshiping the Lord. You know what I love about the songs you get from heaven? They're all about 
to to God yeah. as opposed to about us yeah. or all the other yes. things. I, w- I want to release you right now. I want to hear onto you because I want you to know something is going to be downloaded as you hear Roy Fields onto you. All creation cries your name Falling down before your throne With a mighty anthem raised Unto you to the worship music of Psalmist Roy Fields report that the atmosphere of heaven fills the room. Many are healed. Anxiety is replaced with supernatural joy and peace. Call now and get Roy Fields' anointed three audio worship CDs. All together now, Less of Me and Heaven Sound. That's 20 anointed songs, hours of worship. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9180. This is worship music that was recorded in the midst of revival. Get ready to enter into intimacy with God like never before. Experience emotional and physical healing. Get released from despair and emptiness. Be delivered from demonic oppression and addictions. Enter into the next level of God's glory. I watch transformation. It's a wonderful experience to see somebody come in with all their burdens from life and all of a sudden they're free. Sid says by playing his music 24-7, revival will invade your home. Don't miss out on getting Roy Fields anointed three audio worship CDs. 
It's all together now, less of me and heaven sound. That's 20 anointed songs, hours of worship. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9180. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9180 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Uh, you know, uh, many religious people, they're used to going to a congregation and having a few songs and then the announcements and then the offering and then the message and then lunch. But Roy Fields, you will worship sometimes for two hours and you said to me, that there is such an, the atmosphere so changes that it activates the promises of God without you even saying anything, just the, in that worship. Well, t uh, tell me about the person that had a burn on a lake. I was in a meeting uh, a few years back and this 15 year old kid uh, approached the stage and he had a bad fire scar on like his leg and in the middle of worship, he screamed out. He felt pain again in that leg. And when he lifted it up, the scar had disappeared. And he came up and showed everybody. And I, you know, I, I've been a skeptic, even as a Christian, because you want to see the real. When I saw that, I went, OK. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Yeah, <laughs> okay. I got my attention. <laughs> uh, all right, this, this amazes me. At four different locations, four different children mm. saw the same thing. What did they see? Well, we were, we were in a meeting. I know what you're referring to. We were in meetings. Uh, we had about 8,000 people in the arena. And these four different children with their parents from four different states, as you said, came back to the table to tell me a message. One of them was on video. The other three were told to me by our staff. And they, they all said while I was leading worship that there was a huge angel standing behind me with a big sword and it was on fire and he was just waving it like this. I've never seen an angel, but when all four say that, I don't have to. Okay, <laughs> tell, tell me about this song because I, I happen to love it. Mm. It's the song, how, how did the In the Presence of Angels happen? Well, I was in a house uh, in Destin, Florida and uh, a boat captain uh, was there, uh, his house. And I, I had done a meeting in his house. And at the end of the night, after the meeting was over, I was still caught up in worship. Everybody had gone home. I don't sleep much, Sid. I don't get a lot of sleep. Uh, my mind, my heart, my spirit's always going. And in the middle of the night, I was just worshiping the Lord by myself, wasn't trying to write a song. I don't try to write a song. And in the middle of worship, once again, I heard this melody. I heard da 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 la da 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 la da 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 I mean I just I I didn't have a huge vision but I could picture it in my mind as they say you have your mind's eye I picture this massive throne room with angels and I mean multitudes and multitudes of angels were just like dancing in this kind of order it was kind of like ballroom dancing except not with partners it was just everybody and it was all to God and it was holy 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 worthy glory glory over and over I must have I must have sang in the middle of the night till I don't know three o'clock in the morning I looked down at my watch I had been at the keyboard for two and a half hours. I didn't even, wasn't even aware of the time. Yeah, you know, I could listen to that song for <laughs> hours. I want to release I have. You. I'm sure. <laughs> I want to release you to sing in the presence of angels. And I want to release you to be freer than you've ever mm. been before because I believe you are in the presence of angels.
Our world is rife with comparisons about what separates us. Day after day, we go about our lives with tunnel vision. But Scripture tells us how Messiah broke down the wall between Jew and Gentile, allowing for the creation of one new man, one new humanity. This spiritual completeness is set to usher in the greatest move toward God the world has ever known. Sid Roth has discovered Scripture's key to reaching the Jewish people with God's love. One New Humanity opens the door for God to move in signs and wonders, and all will see the evidence of the invisible God promised in Scripture. At SidRoth.org, you'll find mentoring tools to empower you to share how One New Humanity is critical to bringing multitudes to know God. You'll understand Israel and the Jewish roots of the church, and how all the nations of the earth will experience blessings unseen in human history. Log on to SidRoth.org today and learn how one new man is the key to unlocking God's greatest blessings. We now return to It's Supernatural. You know, in this atmospheric anointing, Roy, when, when you are worshiping God, that's what you are doing. You are worshiping God, and you're calling everyone to worship God with you. There are supernatural breakthroughs in every possible area. Tell me about the person with cancer. Yeah, there was this lady that I was in a, a small meeting in a little white church, actually, in Pennsylvania. And I led worship, and then I preached. And during the worship, um, I had noticed that this pastor had asked me to talk to this lady. I had noticed that she was lifting her hands and crying and weeping. And, and then during the, the speaking part of it, I called her out because I felt the Lord tell me, this lady is her time now for healing. And so I grabbed a hold of her hand and I said, lady, what's happening to you? She said, oh, the worship. I just, I just appreciate the presence of God. And I said, what's going on with you? And she had swelling in her legs. She had, her sneakers were busting at the seams because of the cancer. And I just felt a gift of faith or whatever. You, when you're in the presence of God, you can almost get away with anything. <laughs> and so I just, I, I said, by, by the spirit of God, I said, lady, let's take a walk right now. 
and we started walking and the pain started leaving her body. She started feeling a swelling go down in her legs. When she left and I left, I didn't hear from her for almost a month. And I always want to call back and check to see what's going on. Well, the pastor called me back and he's freaking out on the phone. He goes, Roy, 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 Roy. This woman went back to the doctor and she was given the diagnosis of she's going to die in six months with stage four cancer. And now today they cannot find one trace of cancer in her body. I told you there are breakthroughs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Very briefly, tell me about that atheist. Oh, there was this, yeah, there was this atheist. <laughs> You know, American atheists, they're, they're easy to work with. You can convert them pretty quickly. But when it comes to British atheists, you need to move a God, you know. But, uh, yeah, so there was this British atheist that I ran into uh, just a couple years back, and they were in one of those big meetings we did in the arena with, you know, 8,000 and all that. And um, the wife had told her husband, I want to go to this revival meeting, and he didn't want nothing to do with it, but he loves his wife. They get there. And while the worship's going on, all of a sudden, his wife's ear bursts out like pops and fluid starts coming out. And he looks at her and he says, this has got to be God. And all of a sudden, he says he felt like he, it was almost like somebody grabbed his arms and pulled him up and then pulled his legs down to the floor. And he was on his knees. I can't do it in the studio, but he was on his knees with his hands lifted up and he said he heard he heard somebody grabbing him, speaking through him, and he went, Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs> Can you picture that? Listen, uh, then he heard reports, this British atheist, yeah. very refined, right. leads 300 yeah. people to the Lord. <laughs> what, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You, you go to the piano right now, Roy, because the song, Fill This mm. Place, guess what the place is? It's you. Yeah. I want you to, I want you to stand up and worship God and ask him to fill this place, yes. your body. Yes.
Listen to the worship music of Psalmist Roy Fields report that the atmosphere of heaven fills the room. Many are healed. Anxiety is replaced with supernatural joy and peace. Call now and get Roy Fields' anointed three audio worship CDs all together now. Less of me and heaven sound. That's 20 anointed songs. Hours of worship. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9180. This is worship music that was recorded in the midst of revival. Get ready to enter into intimacy with God like never before. Experience emotional and physical healing. Get released from despair and emptiness. Be delivered from demonic oppression and addictions. Enter into the next level of God's glory. I watch transformation. It's a wonderful experience to see somebody come in with all their burdens from life and all of a sudden they're free. Sid says by playing his music 24-7, revival will invade your home. Don't miss out on getting Roy Fields anointed three audio worship CDs. All together now, Less of Me and Heaven Sound. That's 20 anointed songs. Hours of worship. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9180. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9180 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. We have found a key, but sadly today, Christians have lost this Jewish understanding and instead settled for many, many curses that were not necessary. We're going to show you how this key opens up the blessing and gets rid of the curses, and you can do it the way the book says you're supposed to do it. Thank you.